Would you love to live or retire in a country where you don't have to spend up to $1,000 a month, even with your family? If this sounds like what you want, Uzbekistan is the perfect destination for you. Here, you can enjoy a royal life without spending much of your hard-earned money. Welcome to our channel, where we explore amazing places around the world. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update from us. In today's video, we'll be talking about Uzbekistan, one of the cheapest countries in the world to live or retire. Stick around till the end to learn all about it. Without further delay, let's dive into the details. First, let's look at the cost of living in Uzbekistan. The cost of food in Uzbekistan is remarkably low compared to many Western countries, making it an attractive destination for budget-conscious travelers and expatriates. For example, a small loaf of bread costs just 10 cents, which is a fraction of the price you would pay in most Western nations. Similarly, a liter of milk is priced at only 25 cents, and a kilogram of rice is just $1. When it comes to meat, the prices are equally impressive. A kilogram of beef costs about $1.30 chars, while chicken is even cheaper at $1.15 per kilogram. This affordability extends to dining out as well. In a local Uzbek restaurant, you can enjoy a complete meal for about $14. Imagine this, starting with a bowl of hearty soup for $1.20, followed by a main dish, priced around $12, and finishing with a dessert for about $1. This means a fulfilling three-course meal can sum up to roughly $14. However, it's important to note that prices can vary, particularly in more touristy or urban areas where they tend to be higher. To make your money go even further in Uzbekistan, consider adopting a few smart strategies. Cooking at home can significantly reduce your expenses, and shopping at traditional markets rather than supermarkets can also help you save money. Local markets often offer fresh produce and other goods at lower prices, and you'll also get to experience the vibrant culture and community spirit that characterize these markets. Choosing local dishes over Western options is another effective way to stretch your dollar. Uzbek cuisine is delicious and varied, featuring a range of hearty and flavorful dishes that are often more affordable than imported foods. Additionally, ordering smaller portions or sharing meals can help keep costs down without sacrificing the enjoyment of trying new foods. With thoughtful planning and a willingness to immerse yourself in the local culture, it's entirely possible to enjoy delicious, budget-friendly meals in Uzbekistan without putting a dent in your wallet. By embracing local customs, exploring traditional markets, and savoring the rich culinary heritage of the country, you can make the most of your time in Uzbekistan while keeping your expenses to a minimum. Renting accommodations in Uzbekistan is very affordable too. In the capital city of Tashkent, a room in a shared dormitory will cost around $120 per month. If you prefer a bit more privacy, you can rent a modest 25-square-meter studio in a smaller city for about $100 per month. For those considering rural life, it's possible to find a 50-square-meter unfurnished two-bedroom apartment for as low as $50 a month. However, keep in mind that these prices can fluctuate based on factors like property demand, quality, and location. Getting around in Uzbekistan is remarkably cheap. A single bus ticket costs around 20 cents, making public transportation very affordable. For those who prefer more personalized travel, taxi fares are also very low, with a typical ride within city limits, generally costing under $2. Basic healthcare services are also reasonably priced. A doctor's visit or routine checkup usually costs around $5 to $10 depending on the complexity of the treatment and the location. Even more expensive procedures are competitively priced compared to Western standards, making healthcare accessible to many. Uzbekistan's economy is fundamentally anchored in agriculture and the production of primary goods. The country places a particular emphasis on the large-scale cultivation of cotton, wheat, fruits, vegetables, and grapes. Agriculture has long been a cornerstone of the Uzbek economy, with cotton production playing a crucial role. Uzbekistan stands as the eighth largest producer and the 11th largest exporter of cotton globally, although this sector is susceptible to fluctuations in international market prices. In addition to agriculture, Uzbekistan is endowed with abundant natural resources, including natural gas, gold, and uranium. 
which significantly contribute to its economy. The country is actively increasing its investments in the mining and extraction sectors, aiming to boost its capabilities in industries such as textiles, chemicals, machinery, and food production. The textile industry, in particular, leverages the abundant cotton supply and has emerged as a major industrial player exporting products worldwide. Uzbekistan is also renowned for its vibrant festivals, with Novruz being one of the most spectacular celebrations. Held in the spring, Novruz marks the Persian New Year and symbolizes a time of renewal and rejuvenation. The festival is a joyous occasion filled with community gatherings, vibrant dances, and traditional music. Streets and homes come alive with the spirit of celebration, and a variety of traditional foods are prepared and shared among family and friends. This festival offers a unique opportunity for visitors to immerse themselves in Uzbek hospitality and experience the country's cultural richness firsthand. No Ruz is not just a celebration of the new year, it embodies the essence of Uzbek culture, emphasizing the importance of community, family, and connection to nature. Traditional games, storytelling, and performances are integral parts of the festivities, reflecting the deep-rooted cultural practices that have been passed down through generations. In addition to Nowruz, Uzbekistan hosts numerous other cultural events and festivals throughout the year, each showcasing different aspects of its diverse heritage, from music festivals celebrating classical and contemporary Uzbek music to crafts fairs displaying intricate handmade goods. These events provide a window into the soul of Uzbekistan. In essence, Uzbekistan's cultural landscape is a rich mosaic of historical influences, religious traditions, and vibrant contemporary practices. Its architectural wonders, linguistic diversity, and lively festivals collectively narrate the story of a nation that cherishes its past while embracing the present. Visitors to Uzbekistan are not just spectators but participants in a living, breathing cultural heritage that continues to thrive and evolve. Uzbekistan's culinary scene is a rich tapestry woven with Persian, Turkish, and Russian influences, each adding a unique flavor to the dishes. One of the most iconic dishes is plov, the national dish of Uzbekistan. Plov is more than just a meal. It is a culinary event, especially during celebrations and special occasions. This dish is a harmonious blend of rice, lamb, onions, carrots, and a mix of spices, all cooked slowly to perfection. The sight of 300 kilograms of plov being prepared at once is nothing short of spectacular, often witnessed during large gatherings and festivals. Imagine large cauldrons bubbling with generous amounts of meat, rice, spices, and vegetables, all coming together under a drizzle of oil. This festive favorite is cherished across the country, symbolizing Uzbek hospitality and culinary artistry. It's a hearty, flavorful dish that invites everyone to partake in the communal spirit of sharing and celebration. Bread, known locally as naan or lipioshka, is another staple of Uzbek cuisine that holds deep cultural significance. In Uzbekistan, bread is more than just a dietary staple. It symbolizes hospitality, prosperity, and family unity. Baked in traditional clay ovens called tandirs, the dough for this bread is a simple mix of flour, water, salt, and yeast. The dough is stretched by hand and often artistically decorated before baking, resulting in a piece of bread that is both delicious and visually appealing. Each piece of bread is a work of art, typically circular with intricate patterns pressed onto the surface before it hits the heat of the tandoor. There are various regional breads, such as patir, a type of flatbread known for its elongated shape and distinctive preparation method. In Uzbek culture, bread is sacred, and not a single crumb is wasted. Bread is collected with care and served with reverence to guests, symbolizing a warm and generous welcome. The process of making bread is a communal activity that reinforces family bonds and is seen as a blessing of abundance and good fortune at every meal. This tradition of bread making brings families together, creating a sense of unity and continuity as the skills and recipes are passed down through generations. Uzbekistan's culinary traditions are a vital part of its cultural identity, offering a delicious window into the history and lifestyle of its people. Visitors to Uzbekistan can look forward to a culinary journey that is as enriching as it is flavorful, 
with every dish telling a story of the land and its heritage. From bustling bazaars and historic cities to serene landscapes, Uzbekistan is a land of contrasts. But what geographical features define this country? How do these landscapes influence life and culture here? Let's journey through the diverse terrains of Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan's landscape is predominantly defined by the Kazilkum Desert, which covers about 40% of the country. This sprawling, sandy desert is renowned for its extensive dunes and vast, arid landscapes that stretch as far as the eye can see. To the south, the country's terrain dramatically shifts with the borders of the Tian Shan Mountains, known for their towering peaks, deep valleys, and rugged canyons. These mountains are a haven for nature lovers and adventure tourists, with activities like trekking and mountaineering thriving thanks to the area's lush natural beauty and challenging landscapes. The climate in Uzbekistan varies widely, with most of the country experiencing a continental climate characterized by hot, dry summers and harsh winters. However, the mountainous regions enjoy a milder climate, often seeing snowfall, which adds another layer of diversity to the country's extensive natural palette. Uzbekistan's history is a complex narrative filled with dominance by various empires and rich cultural developments. In the 13th century, this region was engulfed by the vast Mongol Empire under the formidable Genghis Khan and his descendants. Following this era, it formed part of the Chagatai Khanate, a division of the Mongol Empire. The 14th century marked a significant cultural and artistic revival under the leadership of Timur, also known as Tamerlane, who was born in what is now Uzbekistan. His reign brought about a period of significant development, making this region a center of intellectual and cultural activity. Moving into the 19th century, the landscape of power shifted as Uzbekistan came under Russian dominion, later becoming part of the Soviet Union. This period brought both industrialization and the imposition of Soviet cultural and political norms. Following the dissolution of the Soviet Union in 1991, Uzbekistan emerged as an independent nation, embarking on a path of self-determined development characterized by efforts to reclaim and celebrate its rich historical and cultural heritage. This period was characterized by profound transformations in social, economic, and political spheres. Policies of agricultural collectivization and intensive industrialization under the Soviet regime dramatically altered Uzbekistan's trajectory, embedding deep Soviet influences that are still evident today. The collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991 marked a new chapter for Uzbekistan as it declared its independence, ushering in the era of Islam Karimov, who served as the nation's first president until he died in 2016. Uzbekistan is Central Asia's most populous country, with a population of over 33 million people as of 2024. The nation is predominantly young, with a significant portion of its population under 30 years old. Women make up roughly half of the country's total population. They play crucial roles not only within the family but also in the social and economic spheres. As of 2024, 100% of Uzbek women aged 10 years or older are literate, nearly on par with that of men, which reflects the success of these educational policies. In higher education, more women are enrolled in universities than ever before. They are increasingly pursuing careers in fields that were traditionally male-dominated, such as engineering, IT, and healthcare. This shift not only changes the professional landscape in Uzbekistan, but also influences the societal roles women occupy. The diversity of women mirrors the rich ethnic and cultural tapestry of the country. From skin tone to facial features and other physical attributes, the variety is vast influenced by both regional and ethnic backgrounds. Uzbek women are commonly characterized by striking eyes, dark hair, and a sun-kissed complexion. Yet due to the country's ethnic diversity, there is a broad spectrum of appearances. It's not uncommon to see women with distinctly Asian features or those with Slavic traits, a testament to the historical influence of Russia over the region. Although less frequent, women with light-colored eyes and Turkish features also add to the rich human landscape of Uzbekistan. Beyond their physical attributes, Uzbek women are renowned for their warm hospitality and welcoming nature. They place a strong emphasis on family and community, traits that resonate deeply in their daily lives. 
This is especially pronounced in rural areas or more traditional communities where women often embody strength and resilience. The role of women in Uzbek homes is central. They are frequently the caregivers and the pillars of the household, dedicated profoundly to their families. We've come to the end of our list. Would you love to live in Uzbekistan? Let us know your answer and why in the comment section below. And if you find this video interesting, why not like, share, and subscribe for more content like this? See you in the next one. Bye.